What is this, Ken? This is it. This is the kit. So this is how we're going to collect the water. And this QB container, collapsible containers, holds about five gallons or 20 liters. And if you listen inside of it, something bouncing around, it's orange on the top, is a temperature probe. And what we're trying to do is not only measure cesium in here, but look at the water properties and temperature, and we'll later analyze for salinity, salt content, are the two primary things that drive ocean currents and tell us where the water came from. So it's a combination of things. Clipboard, funnel, bucket, and we're good to go. A recent example would be Chernobyl 28 years ago. There was both cesium-134 and 137. So you have two isotopes, one element, cesium, so it behaves exactly the same in the ocean. It's soluble, it moves with the currents. And one part of that is disappearing faster than the other. And so that's why I call it a fingerprint. I can tell uniquely where it's from based upon how much of these two isotopes are there in the five gallon sample we collect today. part to look at first is what we're going to try and fill okay. and that's a five gallon container with our little temperature probe okay. and it can either go with you in for the first fill okay. but it's hard to fill them up all the way or we can do all the filling with a bucket and you can come back here with the funnel. Okay. Uh, I'm going to record where we're at, what time we're at okay. and we're going to collect this sample. Okay. And the easiest thing to do is watch the waves so we don't get you too wet and don't get too much sand in my sample. Okay. The main thing is that we want clear water. Clear, we yeah. Don't, we don't want sand. We don't want a lot of sand. We yeah. will filter out the sand, so a okay. little bit of sand. Don't worry too much. Okay. about this it was fairly close to shore that's pretty good I guess just don't dump the last little bits out because it'll okay. settle the heavy things okay I'm filling up even though the amount seems to come out is much lower <laughs> take the cap twist it on hand tight we're done, we make sure that we have, you know, both a date, a time, a location. I wrote it up there, I took it down there. And eventually we're gonna to wanna to know the latitude, longitude of this specific site from somebody. Okay. I think that I might be in a smartphone. I do on mine. And we definitely like photos. We wanna see who's collecting for sure. us and what you're doing. So the more photos the better. And that's about it. We have a return shipping label, tie wrap to close it, a little sticker for your efforts. That's what all comes together. It's just contained. Well, that all shifts around. It bounces around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. We have to hold on to this. Okay. We know you. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. Yeah. And then this too? Step board goes back in. Completely contained. Goes in, he goes through the set of holes with the tie wrap, close it down. There you go. That's and then the we'll end. attach this label. That's just over the other label. So off to Woods Hole. There it goes. Well, so a kiss for good luck. Woods Hole Mass, next stop. Okay. Fingers crossed for low Alrighty, numbers. Where's right? the drips? Okay, great. Take it out. All right. All right. Chaka. Science. No oceanographer's today. I got out of getting wet. That's the science. Experienced <laughs> oceanographer. <laughs>